Hi there, welcome to this video where we look at how to use the debug mode in Turbo C++. We'll learn what is a debug mode, how does it help us and what is a watch window and also how do we add breakpoints to a Turbo C++ program. So let's get started. First, uh, if you look at the way I have organized my windows, it's I can see the code, I can see the output window and I can see the watch window. If you want to learn how to do this, there's a separate video in the links which you can look at to see how to organize the windows in a format where you can see all the output, watch and the code windows. So now that I hope you have got that by now and let's now focus on how to do how to use the debug mode. Debug mode is a very useful thing uh, in programming uh, in general even in C++ it's very useful. So now uh, what is debug mode? Uh, if you look at run, the usual way we run the program is click the run and the program runs and I can see the output here. Um, but if, let's say I want to see what is happening inside the program completely. Then what I can do is do a run. Uh, make sure that like when you do the run, the mo if you click the output window and say run, it would not enable the trace into menu. What you need to make sure is you are highlighting the actual code window and then go to run and then say trace into. The shortcut for this is F7 so you can use the F7 key or you can say run trace into and click trace into. Now what happens is now you're going in the trace into. So now this is uh, what is called the trace into. If you see the highlighted line is where the code is executing right now. So the first line in the function is where the code is right now. So now I can say F7. Uh, you can actu actually do a trace into or a step over. I will understand what the difference between trace into and step over is in a while. So I c what I would prefer for a start is using F7. That's trace into. So I do a trace into and now I can actually execute the program step by step. Now I'm going to execute the clear screen which actually clears the output out. So just focus on the output. So this is where you need to concentrate on and now I'm pressing F7. And there you go, the output window is completely cleared out. So that's basically what the clear screen does. So you can see what the each function does. Now I do a F7. Actually, when you do a F7, you actually, if you are calling a function which you have defined, it goes into the code of that particular function. So now I'm calling a print two dimensional array here. So uh, that function is defined uh, below it. So now when I press F7, the control goes, if you see the line which is highlighted, is the line here, which is the uh, print two dimensional array function. Now I can go into the print two dimensional array function. If you see like this is where the watch window is. The watch window helps us to see what is the va uh, values of the variables in the scope. So if I want to see the value of the variable i, I can add in a variable i. You can see now the value of the variable is 852. I didn't do a default assignment so it has some def uh, garbage value and then I'm adding in the val variable j as well. So j has a value 864. So now I have i and j which has values 852 and 850, 864 right now. Now you can concentrate on the value i. So adding a variable to the watch is very simple. Double click on the line and it says what to add and you can add the variable name or you can uh, go to the window and watch and also add the variable name so so in debug you can go to watches and say add watch so this is another way where you can add the watch uh, for a particular variable so I can say add watch and probably I can say the variable which I want to add all the variables I need are already there in the watch window so I'll skip this but, uh, remember that this is another place where you can go to add a watch window so you can this has other options like delete watch and remove all watches uh, so now I have the value of i look concentrate on the value of i I'm going to press f7 so i gets assigned to 0 so you can see that i value is changed to 0 now j gets assigned to 0 and now you can see uh, like the program execute I'm exiting the printf so printf lights a line to the output you can see uh, the output 11 on the screen so this is basically what happens uh, when uh, you have the watch output and the code window side by side. You can completely get an understanding of 
how things are going on and this is exactly how we write all our programs I mean this is exactly how I, we debug the programs uh, if you are interested in learning C programming you can actually use our series of tutorials where we actually write the code debug output use watch windows uh, yeah it's coming back to the uh, debug thing uh, let's go ahead now I press F7 now actually if you look at this it goes on continuously so I am not interested anymore in what happens inside so I can say control F9 or run and the program con continues and it shows the output so this is how you use a debug mode and this is how you add or delete a watch